And uh, now I'm thrilled to invite uh, Arsalan Ahmad as our third speaker. He is uh, working as a lecturer in the Department of Veterinary Medicine, University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Lahore. His area of uh, research is tick-borne diseases of domestic animals. Arsalan Ahmad, uh, would you please unmute yourself and sharing your uh, slides? Uh, okay, but, uh, um, my name is Dr. Arsalan Ahmad and I'm uh, working as a lecturer in the Department of Veterinary Medicine, uh, U.S. Lahore, Pakistan. And uh, today I'm going to uh, give a presentation on the topic molecular diagnosis and chemotherapy of anaplasmosis in domestic cats of Pakistan. Uh, as we know that uh, domestic cats uh, are uh, an important uh, companion animals uh, which uh, during uh, which reside with the human beings in the Pakistan and all over the world. Uh, which uh, especially in the Europe and the American countries. And there are very few studies which are conducted on the domestic cats and uh, their pathogenic uh, diseases. So, uh, ticks and ticks borne diseases is a major issue of livestock animals and companion animals, especially in the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. And uh, there are various uh, significant number of pathogens which has uh, previously been demonstrated only in the livestock species and in the domestic gods have also been detected in cats now. And uh, one of the most important pathog pathogen, uh, which is of tick-borne region is the anaplasma, uh, which is a, actually a gram-negative bacteria. And uh, it causes a disease anaplasmosis in various domestic and wild animal species. If uh, I talk about the Pakistan, so being in tropical and subtropical area, uh, this disease has been demonstrated and published in uh, various livestock animal species, uh, especially with reference to cattle, buffalo, uh, horse, sheep and goats. So in all the domestic animals and recently in the uh, zoo animals, it has also been reported. And uh, this study was the first study uh, which was conducted on the domestic and feral uh, cats in the Pakistan. So basically, uh, there are different species of anaplasma, like anaplasma centrale and marginale, which basically uh, affects the bovines. Uh, and uh, the other livestock species, while anaplasma phagocytophilum and platys are mainly involved uh, for causing disease in the domestic cats. And both of these pathogens are of zoonotic potential. They can cause disease in the human beings. So it is very important uh, to study these pathogens because uh, uh, cats live in a very close proximity with the human beings, uh, with the cat owners, and they have a very unique bond uh, uh, between them. Uh, so uh, it is uh, very easy to transmit pathogens from these animals to the human beings. So it is very important to study such pathogens which are of one health importance. So if uh, I talk about the clinical science which we observe uh, in the cats, uh, which are infected with the anaplasma, so the cats show some non-specific signs, which may include anorexia, lethargy, fever, dehydration, tachypnea, and mild to moderate thrombocytopenia. So it is a, it is basically a new uh, infection. It has recently been uh, the first publication was uh, made in two thousand four, and after that, the pathogen have been uh, demonstrated in cats from different countries like uh, USA, Finland. Germany, Italy, United Kingdom, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Portugal, and Thailand. So uh, from these countries, uh, the reports have been documented. So basically, anaplasma phagocytophilum and anaplasma platys are involved, which are transmitted by exodes and ripus uh, phallus sanguinis uh, uh, ticks, uh, respectively. And recently, anaplasma bovis has also been reported uh, to cause anaplasmosis in cats. So the anaplasma bovis is made mainly a pathogen of bovines, uh, but it can cause uh, infection in the uh, uh, cats as well. Especially in the scenario of Pakistan, if I talk, uh, here we see mixed farming. So uh, 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 normally the people are used to keep different animals at the same place, like uh, uh, they keep bovines, equines, canines, and even felines at the same place. So it provides a very good environment to transmit one pathogen from, from one CPC to another CPC. So this can also be an important cause uh, it's, uh, that we are seeing uh, pathogens of one CPC in the other CPC. So these are the different clinical signs which I already demonstrated. And for the diagnosis of this disease, uh, we normally uh, uh, go for the clinical examination but as I already told you that there are non-specific signs of anaplasmosis, 
so there are chances of error uh, in making a diagnosis so after that a uh, blood smear examination is performed which is relatively a uh, cheaper technique but uh, on basis of it you cannot give a confirmatory diagnosis of this pathogen and after that immunodiagnostics like elisa can be performed but there are uh, issues reported uh, uh, of cross reactivity so the only uh, technique which is the uh, which provides a confirmatory diagnosis for this disease is the pcr which can be used with the genus specific primers or species specific primers so this study was uh, basically done with uh, three main objectives the first objective was optimization of pcr along with study of assumed risk factors associated with anaplasmosis in cats as i already told you that this is the first study in the pakistan so uh, the second objective was to compare the sensitivity of microscopy and pcr for the diagnosis of anaplasmosis uh, so that we can define that uh, on uh, a clinical pr uh, practitioner can only rely on microscopy or he has to move for pcr for the diagnosis of this disease and the third one is the effect effect of anaplasmosis on various hematological parameters along with efficacy of different doses of doxycycline under field conditions so mainly in case of anaplasmosis doxycycline is uh, uh, used but there uh, uh, are different uh, uh, doses which are being used like uh, one dose is 5 mg per kg body weight and the other was is 10 mg per kg body weight so to uh, check the effect of these doses uh, this study was also conducted so the study area for the disease was uh, pakistan and in pakistan the city uh, uh, lahore was selected uh, because lahore uh, is a developed uh, city in the pakistan which has different private uh, uh, clinics and uh, uh, the people here uh, love to keep uh, cats with them so i selected this district and we performed study on different private and government veterinary hospitals and uh, we uh, took samples from that so a total of 100 uh, cats uh, blood samples were taken irrespective of age sex and breed uh, through convenient sampling method and those uh, cats were included in the study which were showing any of the clinical sign of tick infestation fever lethargy inappetence lameness or failed infection pains but the cats which were having no ticks or showing you no clinical signs symptom were excluded from the study uh, for the blood sampling jugular vein puncture was done and the thin blood smear was made in the triplets and after that a uh, gym sustaining was performed for the uh, oil immersion microscopy and the for the uh, molecular analysis of the sample uh, the blood samples were subjected to dna extraction and after that the polymerase chain reaction was performed and samples were sent for sequencing uh, to check uh, the similarity of the uh, resultant pathogens so uh, for the uh, dna extraction was performed by the uh, a uh, kit method and the nano drop technique was performed and after that pcr was performed according to uh, these primers which are the genus based primers for the anaplasma so we target basically the 16 as ribosomal rna gene uh, and this is the pcr recipe i used for uh, this reaction and after that for sequencing uh, first phase uh, singapore lab was uh, 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 provided with the samples pcr positive products and uh, to get the sequences for the hematological analysis uh, 10 cats were selected for uh, this trial and uh, including five healthy cats and five pcr positive uh, uh, diseased cats and different hematological parameters including white blood cell count red blood cells hemoglobin platelets and pax cell volume was uh, analyzed and for the therapeutic trials two groups were made uh, including four uh, cats each group were having uh, pcr positive infected cats and two uh, and uh, the doxycycline with two do different dose dates were administered for the 21 days and different uh, parameters were checked like disappearance of clinical signs microscopy and pcr was performed again and again uh, to check that animals are now negative for the anaplasma infection or not so uh, these are different risk factors which we analyzed during the study and uh, this was the data capture form which we filled uh, which we take information from the owners Uh, to analyze that what are the different uh, major risk factors which are significantly associated with the anaplasma infection in domestic cats so these are the different statistical tools which we applied on this study so uh, coming towards the results uh, so we got uh, positive results from the uh, cats from the anaplasma positive uh, results and uh, this is the nucleotide alignment the sequences we obtained 
after the sequencing were uh, 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 processed through different bioinformatic tools like BioEdit and MagEx, and uh, the sequences were aligned. And uh, you can see that uh, the uh, these 14, 15, 11, 1, 16, 17, and 18, these are different sequences of uh, uh, my study. And the other sequences are taken from the NCBI to compare uh, these sequences with the other one. And you can see that uh, one sequence in a plasma cat one Pakistan is showing uh, a substitution at some point as compared to the uh, other sequences which are obtained from the other anaplasma isolates. And uh, after that, uh, sorry for interrupting you, the time is almost up. So uh, I would uh, be appreciate okay, I'm, I'm Thank just winding. I'm just winding. Uh, so this is the phylogenetic analysis was performed to check the similarity of the study isolates with the isolates from the different countries. Uh, so uh, in Pakistan, on basis of microscopy, we found eight samples out of 100, which were positive, and 13 samples out of 100, uh, which were positive for the anaplasma infection. And the different uh, risk factors which we analyzed, and these were breed, sex, age, but three uh, risk factors like tick infestation, uh, previous tick history and tick control. These three risk factors were found significantly associated with the anaplasma infection in the domestic cats, uh, while housing type and house hygiene were also found significantly associated with the disease. And uh, if I uh, come towards the hematological analysis, so the WBC count was increased, but it was non-significant, while uh, the red blood cell count, hemoglobin concentration, uh, pack cell volume and platelets were significantly decreased in the anaplasma infected uh, cats as compared to the healthy cats, which were PCR negative uh, for the anaplasma infection. Uh, similarly, these are the lymphocytes. So for the therapeutic trials, as uh, we check uh, treatment response uh, with uh, parameters like fever, and uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, the group, which uh, the group A was treated with the toxicycline at the rate of uh, 10 mg per kg body weight. So you can see the efficacy. There is 100% efficacy of uh, group A, which was 10 mg per kg body weight, and uh, group B uh, shows 75% efficacy on basis of the disappearance of fever. Similar uh, results were reported on basis of anorexia, uh, anemia, lameness. And uh, on basis of PCR, if I discuss, so after 21 days when the PCR was performed, so the cats that were treated with the doxycycline at the rate of 10 mg per kg body weight, they show 75% efficacy, while the cats which show uh, which were treated with doxycycline at the rate of 5 mg per kg, they show 50% efficacy. Uh, so on basis of it, we can uh, say that uh, doxycycline at the dose rate of 10 mg per kg body weight uh, was more efficacious and better as compared to doxycycline given at 5 mg per kg body weight. And the different hematological parameters like RBCs, PCV, hemoglobin and platelets were significantly decreased in the infected animals. And uh, various significantly uh, associated risk factors should be considered uh, for the control of this infection. And uh, I recommend to conduct more studies, especially in the Asian countries, because the most of the reports uh, have been uh, reported from the European countries and the United States of America, but uh, very few studies have been reported from the Asia. And uh, I also uh, recommend that uh, anaplasma bovis uh, toll in causing uh, anaplasmosis in domestic felines should be uh, also be considered. So thank you so much. This was all about, uh, from my side. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Arsalan Ahmed, for sharing your precious information.